Everybody knows my steak and rice diet. You know, everybody talks about all these wonder foods or red meat's probably the only food that is a wonder food. It has everything in it. You can live on it exclusively. You don't need anything else. Everything's in there. And not just survive, but thrive on just red meat. So if there's one thing that you should have as the core of your nutrition program, not just for macros, not just for protein, but for micros, it's the most micronutrient-dense food that you can possibly eat, and it has the most variety. Heme iron is a highly biological available source of iron. It's hugely important. B vitamins is a monster. B vitamins are what helps you metabolize food into energy. And uh, red meat is high in B vitamins, and it's one of the things that a lot of people will supplement, but it's not in the right form, and it's got a wide variety of B vitamins. Obviously, zinc, magnesium, uh, creatine is in red meat. I've found that athletes who don't eat any red meat tend to get some benefit from taking creatine, and athletes who eat enough red meat and enough salt tend not to get very much benefit from creatine. I never got much benefit because I ate plenty of salt and I ate plenty of red meat, so creatine never did anything for me. Maybe caused some cramping. It was just my experience. But people who, had, who just ate egg whites and chicken breast and some veggies and were low in sodium, creatine causes some water retention, some cellular retention, which most folks tend to believe that that's really why you get a strength result from creatine. It's just because of the intracellular water retention, which you could get from sodium. Intracellular.